what's up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John City 4 here bring us more Battlefield Hardline beta gameplay. Today, we're gonna be talking about tanks. Let me tell you guys why. In Battlefield Hardline, apparently there's not gonna be any single tank in the game. If there is, then please correct me and I'll search the video later about the tanks being in Battlefield Hardline. But so far as I know, there's no tanks. I haven't seen any single tank in the Battlefield uh, Hardline beta, so yeah, as far as I know, there's no tanks. And um... Also, I've been stopping by in the Battlefield Hardline trailers and reading the comment section. And a lot of people are saying that there's no tanks in the game. They're going to quit the game. They're going to quit the series because it doesn't follow up with from Battlefield 4. And, you know, it's not militaristic. You know, it's, it's all about cops and robbers. It's way different. They can't handle it because there's no SWAT tanks and nothing like that. It's all about vehicles now, about cars, regular fucking cars. So they're going to quit the fucking game. And now I'm like... Bro, are you serious? I think this is a lot better than with fucking tanks, you know. Uh, you know, this is my opinion, guys. I think it is a good idea that there's no tanks in this game. Brings more, you know, realistic realism into the fucking cops and robbers things going on here. And also, uh, tanks were mostly used by campers. SWAT tanks, regular tanks, they're, they're the only ones who fucking camp. Those are the fucking campers in the game. So now that the tanks are no longer in the game, Battlefield Hardline, now those campers have to move their asses to earn them kills. So this is what this game is trying to say, you know, Battlefield Hardline is trying to say that you gotta get your ass out there. It's all about gun base, you know, gun skill and, you know, gunfights. It's all about guns. None of this, I hide behind a tank and I'm considering myself God because I got like 40 kills back in the back, you know. No. Earn them kills by rushing out there. Which is nice, and that's my freaking motto since forever, and this is Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1. I gotta rush my ass out there before I get killed and, you know, earn some kill streaks like crazy. That was my motto back in Black Ops 1, and now in Battlefield Hardline, all I have to do is just rush my ass out there and get some kills. And that's good. And I don't have to worry about fucking tanks. Like in Battlefield 4, a lot of those people just fucking camp in the corner and shoot rockets out of the fucking SWAT tank. That annoying after a while because you can't do nothing against them. They're too fast. They're they you can't even sometimes destroy with your freaking rocket launcher because they move so so freaking quick and it's just unfair. I know a lot of y'all will start saying that well you fucking strategy blah blah. You're the only one sometimes carrying a fucking rocket launcher. You can't sometimes do anything against them. Fuck man, putting mines down it just gets too fucking annoying. I want everything quick and that's another thing about this game. It's just everything's quicker now, which is good. More action, more firepower, more gunfights, damn. That's a lot better than fucking, oh shit, there's a tank coming in, I can't do nothing about it. Oh shit, there's a boat coming in with the fucking rockets and shit, you know. Can't do nothing about it. Every time I aim, you know, they shoot out that fucking thing, which pretty much distracts the missile and shit. And, you know, there it goes. Killing you all your teammates because you can destroy the fucking boat. So now it's better, you know, there is cars, there are cars here in Battlefield Hardline with the, you know, the little machine gun that you see right now on your screen, but it's not OP, which is good. Now it requires you to get the fuck out of the vehicle and get some kills with your gun. It's good. It's all about guns in this game. It's good, man. It reminds me a lot of Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1. And this is fucking Battlefield, for God's sakes. So, um, yeah, it may not be following the traditional militaristic style, may not have any tanks, but it's fucking good. Now them campers are going to be all scared, like, oh, fucking fucking camp, blah, blah. you know, now they have to move their asses and you're going to be able to see how far they have, they have fallen now. No more high KDs because you hide in a fucking tank. No more, uh, you know, talking shit or talking trash in the mic because you got like 40 kills in the fucking tank. None of that shit now. Now you, ru now you have to rush your ass out there. Or fucking snipes, since most of those campers from tanks converted to fucking sniping now. Which is better, because at least they're out of my fucking face and how I had to deal with them from long distance. But while I kill all them teammates like running down the middle, it becomes easier for me. So, I enjoy this game better. A lot, it's a lot better than Battlefield 4. Less buggy, by the way. And uh, there's more gunfights, conquest mode. Shit, it's gonna be fun to do this, guys. I love fucking Conquest Mode in Battlefield Hardline. And you guys can see that in my other clips that I've been posting before. Not this one. This one is just a, you know, an example of what you can have on a vehicle. And that's it. Right? There's other gameplays where I did play fully Conquest with a fucking AK-74U and my M16s, whatever, you know. It's fucking fun. So, um, so yeah. 
that's my thoughts on the no tank situation. What are your thoughts, guys? Do you the guys think it's a bad situation that uh you know they didn't add the tanks or is it good? Do you guys you know pretty much go with me? But I'm pretty sure the ones that are complaining right now are the ones that fucking camp with tanks. So, and also the traditional players. But hey, sometimes change is a little bit good. Compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they went too far with change, man. And I don't think it was necessary to have fucking exosuits. Completely, it was completely unnecessary. We don't need to be another gay ass Halo. So, anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your opinion, guys, in the comment section. I'll read them later. So, if you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline in the future, subscribe for more because there's gonna be a lot more awesome things going on.